Welcome to this episode of BizJet TV where we're going to be talking about the three best private jets to fly on for business trips. Now, um, this is an interesting subject. Uh, we're going to be talking about the larger jets, uh, the long distance uh, ones, and then we'll do another video later on about the smaller ones. So if you're going to be doing a trip, which is five, six hours, you want an airplane with a bit more cabin capacity there so you can be comfortable. And before we get more into it, Get yourself a copy of the quantum economy if you haven't done so already this is my latest book which just came out uh, recently 170 pages about business business of the future the trends the places to go and above all why the private jet is and will be playing an important role in this as a story here the number of entrepreneurs uh, that tell the story of how the business jet has been key in really taking their business to quantum levels as, as the book says the quantum economy so um the three aircraft we're going to be talking about today is the goldstream g650 the falcon 8x and the global 7500 now uh, these three aircraft are very nice airplanes very reliable um they do the job fantastically now uh, when you're flying long distance in particular if you're flying i would say these aircraft if you're going to fly like a 10 hour flight um these aircraft are good for about six passengers I wouldn't fly more than six passengers on, on very long flights on this. Uh, you could probably squeeze eight in um, because the, these airplanes aren't built to carry 10, 12 people, even though the, the, the specs tell you it's got 14 seats. Uh, but, you know, believe me, on uh, a long distance flight, 10 hours uh, on these private jets, as, as they say, you know, the longer the flight, the smaller the plane gets. So, um, you know, you, otherwise you want to be, you know, chartering or buying yourself a Boeing business jet, which is a larger flying apartment, as I call it. Um, in that case, you know, you would fly 10 to 15 people, no problem. Uh, but, you know, with these smaller airplanes, you've got two problems. One is the baggage space and the other one is the galley space. Because obviously, if you're flying for 10 hours, you need enough food and drink for everybody. And of course, you've got two pilots, one flight attendant, plus all the passengers. Um, and the galley doesn't really, it's not really built for, you know, 13 people or 12 people or whatever. So that's really, really important to consider. So all three of these airplanes are fine for flying six people. I'd say again, you can squeeze eight on. Uh, the larger ca cabin being the Global 7500, followed by the G650, and then the AX. The AX is a derivative of the 7X. They just lengthened it a little bit more. The G650, there's a 650 and 650AR. Same airplane, same cabin. They just did, made a modification to be able to put more fuel in and give it an extra 500 nautical mile range which brings it up to 7,500 nautical miles. The AX has a 6,450 nautical mile range and the Global 7,500, 7,700 nautical mile range, even though it's stretched to 8,000 and now rebaptized the Global 8,000. Now, um, all three aircraft, um, as I said, very reliable. Uh, the Global has is the newest out of the three and has this new wing, uh, which allows it to land and take off the shorter runways. So that's really important to consider. It's also a very fast aeroplane. So the way they, they built the aerodynamics of the wing, they're allowing it to go fast, but also land uh, on short distances, which is really, really good. That's something that uh, the Falcons have always been famous for, uh, their short field capability compared to others. And obviously the three engines uh, that you get on the, on the AX, which some people tend to like. Uh, and of course, the advantage of the AX is if you're going uh, over... Um, Lot, covering a lot of distance over water the three engines allows you to go direct while with you got two engines you have to fly uh, certain routes uh, according to ETOPS which is extended twin oper twin engine operations uh, you have to be uh, at all times 180 minutes from uh, an airfield where you can land at uh, so you're going to have an advantage with the AX being able to go direct um, as I said they all three are reliable uh, a lot of it does come down to taste uh, the shape of the aircraft outside, some people like the look of the AX, very slick and that. Um, others prefer the G650 because it's a Gulfstream. Uh, Gulfstream, from a brand perspective, has got the word out there a lot. Of course, very popular in the United States, being an American airplane. Um, so that's uh, that's what happens with, with the Gulfstream. As I said, all three are reliable. Um, the cabin size, the AX is slightly smaller than the other two. Uh, but a lot of people like the French design. Uh, they love the interior design of the, the Falcons, um, and this is what a lot of people go for, in particular in Europe and, and Middle East and that, the people like, you know, sitting in sort of luxury, and I must say, they so do a very good job on that. Um, the G650 is very popular in the United States. Americans tend to like American airplanes, um, American brands, and of course, you've got you know, the Canadian Global 7500, which is, you know, starting to carve itself into the market 
very well. Uh, those that have flown it as pilots have, have spoken very highly of it. Uh, the passengers enjoy it and enjoy the ride. Um, just the wing allows it to have a very smooth ride as well. So I would say, you know, all three, they're, they're pretty much there, even cost-wise, uh, to buy them and to operate them. They're pretty much very similar. It, it really is down to taste. It's a bit like cars. Some people like Audi, some like Mercedes, some like um, BMWs. I was talking about these three um, car brands, uh, German car brands. You know, they all three are reliable, but, you know, some people prefer one than the other. So uh, let's get the conversation going. You tell me what you prefer. Do you prefer the, the G650, the AX, the Global 7500 and why? Let's get the conversation going below. Let you tell us here and, and the other viewers what you think of the three airplane what's your experience been maybe flying them as a pilot or even as a passenger and if you've flown more uh, on, on all three of them that would be great to hear your perspective and uh, yeah and remember get yourself a copy of the quantum economy lots of information in here about private jet travel uh, if you're looking to buy an airplane or lease an airplane this is a, almost like a guidebook there also giving you insights on where to go to do business for the future you know technologies that are emerging places to go like Montenegro, um, Dominican Republic, you know, there's opportunities in those countries. I talk about North Korea um, and uh, once North Korea opens, uh, there'll be opportunities there to do business as well. And, and lots of other, you know, outback places in the world where you can go and do business. And that's why you need a private jet to go in and out of these places. But that's all from me here on this episode. I want you to check out this other video I did recently. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. We talk about the Falcon 10X, which is coming out. Um, that's the new airplane by Dassault. Incidentally, they ditched the three engines on that one and going to be building something with two engines and long range capability. So very interesting to see uh, how many people will go for this Falcon 10X. And that's all from Fabrizio Poli here on BizJet TV. And I'll see you on the next one.